Hey everybody, this is Tim Pulaski with TriMec, and today what I want to talk about is how to pass the equipotential mark through a symbol. So when you place a symbol on top of a wire inside of SolidWorks Electrical, very commonly what will happen when you go to number the wires is that each individual wire that's connected to that will be given a different equipotential label. But what if you wanted to pass that equipotential label through this circuit in order to maybe transmit that particular signal to some further destination down the line? This is pretty common if you have inline connectors or even uh, terminals. So that's exactly what I want to talk about is how you can configure your system to do that and where those options are located. So let's blow away some of these wire numbers and take a look at the guts of this symbol itself. If I open this up, the place that you can control what the software does with the equipotential mark is actually within the properties of the circuit in the symbol itself. So over here on the right, after I've selected that circuit zero, you can see on the right side panel, there's an option to control information transmission. Right now it's set to disconnectable, but you can see there are four available options in here that allow us to control what we do with the equipotential mark. You have disconnectable, you have passing, hyperpassing, and hyper hyperpassing. So what I'd like to demonstrate today is maybe an example of each of these to talk about what happens when you select each one and what situations you might use each one in. Let's start off with disconnectable. I'll actually show you a different symbol that I've set up on a different page just to demonstrate how this works. So if I have a disconnectable uh, information transmission, what's going to happen is when I use that particular symbol in my project is it's going to apply a different equipotential label to each side of this symbol. Okay, as demonstrated here, if I grab these and number them, you can see that uh, gives a different label each one. Right? This is pretty much the most common type of information transmission inside of SolidWorks Electrical. Uh, it just kind of assumes that anything that's connected to this symbol uh, that's not on the same potential, meaning there's not a wire that's actually connected to the same string here, uh, is going to be given a different label. Okay, so the first way to pass that particular mark through this symbol is by setting that information transmission type to passing. So I have a symbol here that's set up to do just that. So when I click to place this one here, and then number my wires, you'll see it does exactly as advertised. It's going to take whatever label it gives to one side of this particular symbol and pass that over to the other side right on through as if this really wasn't even there. Okay, so this is a pretty common thing to do for things like terminals uh, as well as for inline connectors if you're using a single symbol to represent both sides of the thing um, or even for circuit breakers if that's kind of your, your deal is you want to make sure that the signal just kind of passes through that unabated. Now, Another type of passing type is very useful if you really can't get away with using just one symbol to represent the component. And that's where hyperpassing comes into play. So hyperpassing actually requires two symbols that are associated to the very same component. So if I insert the first symbol, my first hyperpassing symbol over here, and I've got three circuits on there just as an example, that's going to create a new component in my list. We're calling that WF3. When I insert the next one, I'm going to want to make sure to associate this symbol to the very same component. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. So I'll grab WF3 here and say OK. And now, when I number my wires, it's going to do something pretty special. It goes ahead and passes the terminal mark through the same exact circuit that's been defined in this symbol as was defined in this symbol. So circuit one in symbol one is simply going to pass its equipotential mark over to circuit one in symbol two and all the way down the line. 
So this is really useful for things like inline connectors where perhaps you want to do a page break. I want to end my page uh, or end my connections on one page and show the connector continuing on another page. It doesn't have to be on the same page using this methodology. Uh, yet we're not creating a brand new component by representing it in a different place. It's still the same thing. Okay, so that's hyperpassing. Now hyper hyperpassing is very special. So with hyper hyperpassing, we're not going to insert it like we have done all these other symbols here. All these other symbols right here represent actual components uh, like WF1, WF3, etc. Hyper hyperpassing is exclusively used with origin destination symbols, all right, meaning off-page reference symbols. So the place that you set what type of symbol a symbol is, is when you're editing this symbol, you click on the white space somewhere over here, over on the right under symbol type, you have control over what this thing actually is. Most symbols on a schematic are multi-wire symbols, but if you're going to be using the hyper hyper passing uh, information transmission type, you really need to set this to origin destination symbols. Otherwise, this isn't really going to work. Okay, but once you have that set up, the way you use this is through the uh, schematic tab, origin destination arrows. All right, that's basically what these types of symbols are, uh, are meant to represent. So if I activate this, you select the symbol you want to use for your origin symbol and destination symbol up here. So for my origin symbol, I'm going to grab this origin hyper hyper passing symbol. And for destination symbol, I will grab the destination type. And by doing that, when I come over to this page here, I'm going to do a single insertion to connect this wire to this wire. And that will put those symbols into place. Now when we pop back to our schematic, I can go ahead and, well, we can just say number new wires, and you'll see it's going to pass that equipotential number from one side to the next. Okay, so, and, and what it'll also give you in here are some uh, cross-references from one symbol to the next, kind of like your cross-reference arrows. Okay, so this is really your way of defining these off-page references yourself. Uh, but that's exclusively what these are used for. Everything up here is meant to represent actual components in your design. So hopefully this gives you a little more information to go on when defining what type of information transmission will work best for your needs. But it does give you a lot of options for how you pass that equipotential mark from one side of a symbol to the other.